So you guys really enjoyed the 0 and 82 to 82-0 challenges. That's been a staple on the channel for the last couple of years. And we are throwing it back to one of the first ever challenges I did in 2K. I think I started this in 2K17. We are doing the accepting every trade challenge today. So yeah, we're going to go through the first two seasons and we are going to accept every trade we get offered, no matter what the deal is. And in season number three, we're going to try to salvage that and try to win a championship with doing whatever I want. I don't have to accept trades. And to make this video even more crazy, we are accepting every every rule change as well for the first two off seasons. So yeah, if there's a rule change where we have to change the shot clock to 45 seconds, well, I guess the league leader in scoring is gonna be averaging 17 points a night. So today's video is sponsored by the VPN Private Internet Access. So VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And with Private Internet Access, all your internet traffic goes to a secure VPN tunnel. Your IP address is hidden and your data is encrypted. Private Internet Access is available for all platforms from Windows to Mac OS, Android, iOS, and many others. Private Internet Access can allow you to hide your IP address and replace it one from another network and you can conceal your location and digital footprint. It has a five star CNET editor rating and their quote was it was just spectacular. And it got PC Mag's editor's choice for the best VPN service over the last five years. Watch a NBA game or an MLB game and it's blocked out in your area. You could just switch. Maybe you're just in New York, right? And you want to watch a Mets game, but you can on MLB network because you live too close, but you don't have a cable service to get it on SNY. You could just change your city to Chicago. You can access any city pretty much here on private internet access. If you want to maybe watch a NBA game or an MLB game and it's blocked out in your area, you could just switch. Maybe you're just in New York, right? And you want to watch a Mets game, but you can on MLB network because you live too close, but you don't have a cable service to get it on SNY. You could just change your city to Chicago and boom, there you go. It will not be blacked out in your area. It's so easy and efficient that you could do that. You could pick up their awesome offer today. It's just two dollars and 59 cents a month plus three months free which is 77 percent off with my link down below in the description or the pinned comment pick up your private internet access subscription today like i said link in the description below thank you to private internet access for sponsoring today's video and finally to make this video even more crazy we are doing a fantasy draft with all-time players yes the all-time teams will be incorporated into this and i haven't done a rebuild with legends in so long so i was like let's just incorporate all this into one video and just make it absolutely madness. So the team we are using today is the Miami Heat. All right, so we got the Heat, and what pick do we have in the fantasy draft? I also had to turn salary cap off because obviously all these players are gonna be making 30 plus mil a year. Give me a high pick. Oh boy, okay. So we end up with, what pick is this? 17, ooh, Shaq just went, I would have loved him. So the options are kind of endless here. Who do I want, like a 23 year old CP3? I mean, AI, but he's 30. Pippen, I don't really want, but I think Dwayne Wade might be the guy. I think I'm going to go with Dwayne Wade. I mean, Curry, he's 31. I wish he was a little bit younger than that. I mean, D-Rose is cool. Giannis is obviously here, but I'm going to go with a 24-year-old Dwayne Wade because why not? A Miami Heat, too. I had to do it. Yeah, I completely forgot. That's the connection on why I did that trade or that drafting or that draft pick. So uh, next up, who do we go for? All right, so a couple options are we get a stud center in Bill Walton or Patrick Ewing. We could look at pretty much the highest overalls left in Jerry Lucas or Kevin McHale. Dominique is still here. Paul Pierce, but I'll probably pass on him. Not really going to go with shooting guard, even though I would love Ray Allen or Pistol Pete. Steve Nash, if he wasn't 33, I'd probably draft him. We could go for Penny Hardaway or Gary Payton and just have Payton and the, we could have the glove and flash as our backcourt. I mean, that'd be pretty freaking good. And I do like Penny's age, so you know what? I'm going to take Penny Hardaway. Another former Miami Heat. I mean, he played like one year for the Heat in like the last year of his career. But either way, we got him. Oh, Dwight Howard just went. Oh my God, I would have loved Dwight. Damn, because I want to get a center here. Ugh, it might end up being power. Marcus Saul, Yao Ming's 28. And Bede is nice as he's 25 and he's a 90 or DeMarcus Cousins as well. But I feel like we got to go like, do I really want Robert Parrish? I think I'm going to go with Pau Gasol though, 26 years old. So that's our big three. Penny Hardaway, Dwayne Wade, and Pau Gasol. Probably not the best big three um, in an all-time team rebuild. And we're going to have to trade some of these players as well, which pretty much sucks. So I do, I would like a power forward. We could go for Sean Kemp. 
Alton Brand or Jermaine O'Neal. I think I'm going to go with Jermaine O'Neal here. Have a stud defensive front court. Well, I guess Pau Gasol is not the greatest defender in the world. And to wrap things out, we need a small forward. I do like Glenn Rice, but he's 30. I mean, we could go for Bernard King, who is 28. Kiki Vanderway, Jamal Mashburn, Iggy. Um, You know what? I'm going to go with Kiki Vanderway to kind of wrap up the starting five. So I'll see you guys with the rest of the team that I ended up drafting. All right, so the draft just ended, and I will show you guys what the team is looking like. So we have Wade, Hardaway, Gasol, O'Neal. I drafted Rajon Rondo, you know I have Kiki Vanderway, Joakim Noah, I took Bradley Beal, CJ McCollum, Tony Kukoc, John Morant, uh, Steve Kerr, and Zion Williamson, and J.R. Smith, and for some reason, Zion and Ja are making 35 million a year, so I'm glad I turned salary cap off, I'll probably limit myself to obviously not signing every free agent out there, but I would like to get some good ones, so, yeah, I, I mean, it really doesn't matter what our rotation is, because it's gonna... <sighs> I don't want to trade Dwayne Wade. I don't want to trade Dwayne Wade. I'm not putting anybody on the untouchables. I won't put anyone on the trade block. So let's simulate the regular season and let's see what our first offer is going to look like. All right. We haven't gotten an offer yet, which is pretty sweet. I mean, maybe trades won't happen as much with all-time players. And oh my, are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. That is the worst trade ever. I have to trade Dwayne Wade and J.R. Smith. Oh my God. Dwayne Wade. No. For Mike Bibby and Derek Coleman. Oh my God. Oh, that is horrible. That is horrible. Oh my God. We got to accept the offer. <laughs> I hate this challenge. Oh my God. We have to trade Pau Gasol, my second or no, third round pick for Geoff Petri. Petri? I honestly don't even know much about him. I, I really don't even know who this is. Oh my God. This challenge, man. I, of course, have to trade two of my top three best players. Probably Hardaway's my second. Already 26 games in the year. How are we above 500? Oh, and there goes Hardaway. Oh my God. Okay, Penny Hardaway for John Wall and a first round pick. At least I get a first out of this, right? Oh my God, I want to cry. Next up, we're trading Derek Coleman for Doc Rivers and a lottery protected first round pick. I mean, how old is Doc Rivers? 26 and whatever, but yeah, that's pretty much who we got for Dwayne Wade. Oh, and there goes John Wall. So we basically traded Penny Hardaway for James Donaldson who's 30 years old and is not even playing at a first round pick. I, you know, I'm not gonna say I hate this challenge because you know my feelings about it. We are under 500. How are we only one game under, one on two? Oh, and there goes Gioff Petri, who we basically got for Pau Gasol and we have to treat Steve Kerr for Bargnani. Oh, I just love me some Andre Bargnani. And we get Gus Williams. Got to accept that one. We are almost at the trade deadline though. Oh, and there goes Jermaine O'Neal for Hershey Hawkins and a first round pick. At least we're stocking up on first, right? For a blockbuster trade down the line. So please tell me the trade deadline is soon. Oh my God, there goes Rondo. I've traded like my top five best players for Hot Rod Williams and a first round pick. I feel like the Suns are just abusing me in this video. And there goes Gus Williams for Kenny the Jet Smith. And a first round pick that is lottery protected. All right, so we're trading Hersey Hawkins for Johnny Moore and another first round pick. We actually have a ton of firsts now. And the trade deadline finally passed us, thank God. And we didn't even get a first for Dwayne Wade, I think. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and I doubt we're making the playoffs. So we ended up as the 13th seed in the Eastern Conference. I also put it on where everybody keeps their own draft picks. So it's not like the Knicks will get the Mavericks picks, and like maybe the Thunder will get one of our picks. So Agent Zero is actually your MVP. Manager Ginobili, sixth man of the year. Uh, defensive player of the year is Bill Russell, Mark Dagnall is your coach of the year so yeah there is no most improved or rookie of the year so there is no miami heat out here as expected and here are the stats for the end of the year the only player that really wasn't traded that was important i guess is zion and kiki vanderway Beal and mccomb were traded as well but boy this team is not very good we have what no we actually do have 290s at the moment okay um both of them are free agents or actually kiki isn't but bibby is and we have a couple 90s on the way so we will simulate the playoffs see who wins the championship in year one and the okc thunder win it all and Gilbert Arenas wins MVP and finals MVP in the same year. They also had Dominique Wilkins, Wilt Chamberlain, Mark Aguirre, Jimmy Bauer, George McGinnis, Jermaine O'Neal, and he gets a ring, DeAndre Jordan, and Ben Simmons. They beat the Pacers, who had Spencer Hayward, LeBron, uh, Westbrook, Antoine Walker, Michael Redd, Della Shrimp, DeMar DeRozan, Willis Reed, Reggie Thuce, Tice, uh, probably Thuce, um, and then Norm Nixon. Yeah. So player retirements, all these guys retiring. Richelle Sprewell, I guess the best one out of these guys, I would have to say. Yeah, the only 80. Uh, Steph retirements, Popovich retires. In league meetings, we have to accept. Oh my God, it's like they know. It's like they know. 
<laughs> I have to abolish the trade deadline, which means we could be getting offers in the last week of the year for my good players. Oh my god, I hate this game. I hate it, of course. Eliminate the violation that requiring the offense to advance the ball um, within the eight seconds. Okay, we'll prove that. Maximum length of a contract is three years. Okay, three year deals in the max. Shot clock resets during a um, possession remain or full to full duration when possession remains with the same team. And then offensive and defensive key violations are changed from three to five seconds. All right, we have to approve of all those. Let's see where our pick ends up in the lottery. We are number six. Watch us drop to eight and we drop to seven. Basically the same thing. Steph starting, I guess we can keep mainly everyone. It's not like we really need on top potential when everybody's already like a 90 overall anyway. So you know what? I'll still fire my trainer and pick up like a Randy Martin and yep, we'll sign him. So it is draft night and I would like to trade my pick. I don't really think drafting like a Geo and Green or I mean, he's not really falling to me at seven is really going to change anything for us. So if we were to make a trade, I don't know what we would do. Maybe Kenny Smith and seven. What could we get? And I found the trade I like unless I get something better than that. But no, we are getting some good offers. I forgot what the team was that offered to me. It was the Hornets. So we are trading Kenny Smith and the seventh pick and our 2022 first for Dwight Howard. Uh, do I want to trade that first or would I rather trade um, 20? Okay. Yeah, I guess I'd rather trade the first because even like our ninth and 10th men, like uh, in the rotation, they'll have like three and a half star trade value. So we pick up Dwight Howard. Hopefully I don't get an offer for him next year, but I probably will. And I'm going to trade for um, Tim Hardaway this time, not Penny. And we're giving Steve Kerr back for Doc Rivers, John Morant and a future first round pick. So that's pretty much it with me trading at this moment. We'll go to rookie signings. Hey, we get Wendell Moore. He's going to save us. All right. So obviously we have no team player options. So we will go and like none of the league has any either. So we'll go here to free agency where there's some studs and it's like, I want to sign some of these studs, but they might end up getting traded. So I'd like to get my Dwayne Wade back. Uh, I don't know why I was in purple like or pink while I couldn't sign him, but yeah, I'd like to get Dwayne Wade back. And then, you know what? I'm going to go out and sign Kevin Durant as well. Yeah, those are going to be my two signings, but I'm sure I'm going to have to trade them anyway. We get KD and we get Wade now. I would like to maybe bring back some of my guys. So, I mean, with KD and Wade, how many guys do we have? All right, but yeah, I would like to maybe bring back Bradley Beal, Mike Bibby, you know, we can offer them contracts anyway. I mean, we have 700 in cap space, bring back Joakim Noah. Maybe I'll get offered trades for those guys instead of Wade and um, Wade and KD. And then I'll bring back Josh Donaldson and Hot Rod Williams as well. So we get everybody back. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be for me. Hakeem goes to the Nuggets. Yeah, I guess these are the top signings. It's not like where we really know their previous teams. Like Moses goes from Sa or Washington to the Grizzlies. Uh, KG goes from the Clippers to the Hawks. And Olajuwon stays in Denver. So play progression. Dwayne Wade actually regresses. Same with Kiki Vanderway. Um, everybody else went up though, which is a good sight to see. Even Wendell Moore. Well, he actually, he didn't go up, but He's obviously not going to be playing for us. So we do have three training camps. I don't know what to do. Who doesn't have A-plus potential on this team? Joakim Noah. Now he's A-plus. I don't think CJ McCollum had it either, so he will get that. And then uh, I wonder what, like, Zion's trade value is. Like, is it really good? And then we'll send, I don't know, Tony Kukoc to untap potential. Oh, we have to release two guys, so let me release, obviously, Wendell Moore. Uh, and then who else do I want to release? It will probably be, yes, yeah, Steve Kerr. All right, so we'll just let the CPU kind of come up with the rotation. Hardaway, Wade, Durant, Zion, Howard with a bench of Kiki, Bibby, Noah, McCollum. Um, so yeah, that is the team. And we'll start the simulation and we'll see the first trade offer I get. And it can happen all season long. And boom, there goes Dwight. We're so happy about that trade. And we got to trade Dwight for Blake Griffin, who's not a bad return. Um, and we get a first round pick, but still... It's only week one, and we, we played one, one game so far, and I'm already making trades on, like, my top guys. Uh, I'm just waiting for KD and uh, Wade to get traded. Actually, you know what I should have done is given them no trade clauses, so I couldn't actually have traded them. That would have been smart. So, basically, we're trading Dwight Howard for Hassan Whiteside in a first-round pick. I've said it again. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. There we go. I hate this challenge. Oh, and there goes one of my best trade uh, pieces, Zion Williamson, who's five stars for Jermaine O'Neal and a first-round pick. So, we're getting Jermaine back. We're trading Tim Hardaway for Brad Daughtry, who was a former first overall pick, correct? Yeah, 1986. I believe it was for the Cavs, but I could be wrong. No, it was for the Cavs. And a first round pick. Very nice. We're trading Jermaine O'Neal for DeAndre Jordan. Okay, um, whatever. And there goes Dwayne Wade, but we are getting the finals MVP or the reigning finals MVP and reigning MVP in return for Dwayne Wade. Uh, we're also giving up Bargnani and getting Jermaine O'Neal, who we just traded. Oh my God, he's been back and forth with us this whole video. I'm sure we're going to have to trade Agent Zero though. Uh, so there goes Brad Daughtry for Chris Stops and a first round pick. Like, sure, I guess. Like, some of these trades just seem absolutely pointless for some of these teams. But, you know what? Uh, we are five games over 500 because we do have KD. And there goes 
One of the OGs on the team we drafted, Kiki Vandeweghe for Jamal Murray and another first round pick. The Thunder, stop making trades with me. It was like the Suns last year and the Thunder this year. They're just trying to rip me off because they know I will have to accept any offer. And there goes DeAndre Jordan for Doug West. I actually thought that was Delonte West for a second and a first round pick. And there goes Agent Zero for Dave Bing and another first. Yeah, I got to do so many trades with first round picks in the offseason because we have one year to turn this team around in one offseason. And yeah, I'm going to have to make a bunch of trades. There goes Jermaine O'Neal for Gordon Hayward and another first round pick. Like, look at our future first. How many do we have? We have, oh my God, we have six first round picks this year. We have, oh my God, we have six next year. We have six first round picks next year as well. We have five Five in 2024. Damn, we have a lot of firsts. I'm making a lot of trades this summer. I know. Contract extension deadline. I would like to extend some players so I could trade them on draft night. Bradley Beal, three-year extension. And that is pretty much it. We're getting offered Clay Thompson for Dave Bing. It does hurt because I could have traded Bing in the offseason because he did have a two-year deal. So that trade actually does kind of suck. All right. So we have what? Like 24 games left. Let's see what offers we get. Mike Bibby for Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones on a one-year deal. Oh, just lacking the guys I could trade on draft night. So annoying. All right. So we are trading CJ McCollum and a second another guy on a four-year deal for dream on green who's on a one-year deal as well i hate this so much i'm gonna be able to trade like nobody on draft night hey we get dwight howard back we are trading two warriors clay thompson and dream on green for dwight howard and fred van vliet please don't make me trade dwight for the rest of the year we're at what three games left oh my god okay we're gonna kiki van way back Let's go. I can trade him on draft night as well. All right, one week left. Don't screw me over. Please, please, please. Let's go. Let's go. We end the season with Dwight Howard. I'm actually so happy. And we make the playoffs as the eighth seed. The big O is your MVP. We have David Duke as rookie of the year. He averaged three points. Very nice. Gary Payton, six man of the year. Memphis getting it done. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, Peyton's obviously backing up Oscar Robinson. Uh, defensive player of the year goes to Bill Russell. Luca is your most improved. What's his overall right now? 93. And Dave Yorger is your coach of the year. I mean, he did have MVP and six man of the year. So we'll see if we got anybody on an all NBA team. Probably. Oh no, we do. Yeah. We never got offered a trade for Kevin Durant. Did I give him a no trade cause? And I'm just tripping. Um, I did not give him a no trade cause. Okay. So yeah, we get KD for the final year. That is actually so dope. Um, and that is going to be it most likely. So we're taking on the Hornets in round one. We have Trey Young, Doug Collins. Um, is he a first round, uh, first overall pick? Yeah, Doug Collins. George Gervin, uh, Dirk, Willis Reed, Fat Lever, uh, Ron Harper, Rudy Gobert, Xavier McDaniel, Kenny Smith. I mean, that's a good team. And obviously they are the uh, one seed in the Eastern Conference. And then here was a scoring... Jamal Murray was our second high score. Why? We need to make so many moves in the offseason. So who can I even trade like in the summer? But, like I'm getting ahead of myself. I know. But if we go to uh, salary cap breakdown. All right. So I can actually trade like um, I, I want to keep Dwight and KD. So I'll be trading probably Hayward, Noah, Beal, Murray, maybe Kiki, Chris Stops, Donaldson, Hot Rod, um, and Johnny Moore. Because we have all the... Wow, you had a big front loaded contract. It drops off by seven mil, but yeah, because I have all these first round picks, I need to trade. So we'll see what happens in round one, battle of some Southeast teams, and we end up losing in six as expected. And the Warriors win it all in year two. Jason Kidd is your finals MVP. They had Amari, Vince Carter, Nate Thurman, uh, Jason Kidd, Pau Gasol, Sleepy Floyd. Yeah, Sleepy Floyd. Don't know who this is. Charlie Scott, um, Chris Kamen, Mark Eden, and Josh Smith is on that team. Uh, they beat the Nets. You had Sidney Jones, uh, or Sam Jones, Sidney Jones. Yeah, the cornerback, right? Zach Randolph, Agent Zero ended up on them. Isaiah Thomas, Frazier, uh, Scotty, Brandon Ingram, Artis Gilmore, and uh, Jason Richardson. So player retirements, uh, Jason Terry, Mark Jackson, Dennis Rodman retires. He was in 91. Staff retirements, Terry Stotts retires. And all right, what are we um, accepting here? So we're reverting to the 2018 lottery system. Not too bad. All games will have four time quarters in regulation. See, that's what I don't get. Maybe I'm dumb about that one because like, isn't that what it normally is? We have what, four 12 minute quarters, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm that. I, I don't know. I don't really get that one. The top two picks are done through the lotto. So I guess that kind of just retcons this one. So I don't know how they're going to go about that. The top teams across the league are seated irrespective of conference. So we're going to have a one through 16 playoffs. Okay. And then all star teams will be determined by the top vote getters in the respective conferences. So it's an East versus West, not a draft. So draft lottery. I mean, we do have a lot of picks, so maybe we are going to be end up, uh, ending up in yeah the lottery. So we're going to have two lottery picks, which is very nice, unless some of them were protected. They weren't. So we actually end up with the second pick, beautiful trade piece. We end up with 11. We also end up with 19, 24, 25, and 29. 
Yeah, we have a ton of firsts in this draft. So let's go to the NBA draft and let's make a lot of trades. And now finally, the players we get, we don't have to move down the line. All right, so we are going to be getting Gilbert Arenas back. Gordon Hayward, Kiki Vandeweghe, pick two and pick 24 for Drew Holiday and Agent Zero. Going to be trading Kristaps Porzingis and James Donaldson. Also pick 11 for pick 10 and Kevin Love. I mean, that's actually a sick offer. So the team right now, like under contract, we have KD, Agent Zero, Dwight Howard, Love, Joakim Noah, Bradley Beal, um, we also have Hot Rod Williams and Drew Holiday, and also I believe Johnny Moore is under contract, or do we? We might have just not. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's not. Thought it said he was making twelve mil next year. Um, okay, maybe that was a glitch. Or no, it said he was making five mil next year, but twelve mil last year. I guess that was a glitch. Also, going to be picking up Lamarcus Aldridge and a first round pick for Hot Rod Williams, uh, Drew Holiday, and a first round pick in this draft, which I think was pick ten that we got in the Kevin Love deal. We're also doing this trade as well: Bradley Beal, Joakim Noah, pick nineteen, and a future first for Steve Nash and Dick Van Arsdale, who we're probably going to end up trading in a second. And we're going to be trading Dick Van Arsdale two first round picks in uh, the late end of the first round and a second for Damian Lillard. So we actually have so many good point guards on this team yeah we have three stud ones so we ended up with Ad um adilson adelson koto koto i don't know but he probably won't play for us at all qualifying offers we have none and let's go to free agency where i want to bring some of our guys back uh probably doug west i would like to bring back but who do i want to sign i think i want to sign like a stud probably shooting guard correct yeah i want to sign a stud shooting guard and that is going to be probably james harden i mean there's julie serving vince carter we could play at shooting guard you know what i will offer him a deal we'll see if he accepts it and then shooting guard um i want to offer let's see i guess we'll offer harden a deal does he have any offers or are we definitely getting him um, okay, we're not definitely getting him. And then I'll offer Joe Dumars. Oh, he's restricted and we were already offered enough guys. So we got Harden. There we go. So we're bringing back Harden, Doug West. I'm not going to read out some rights. Oh, we're going to be over the hard cap. Okay. Um, so yeah, we got it. Um, we announced the rights on a lot of these guys, actually. Everybody, I'm hoping I'm able to sign West and Harden. We'll see. Moment of truth. And we can. Let's go. So at this moment, we have what? Four or five guys. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, really nine. So can I not sign anybody else? So like Bob Cousy, can I sign him? I can. Okay, <laughs> that was pretty um, simple. And I'm going to sign Tony Parker as well to make a couple last trades. All right, I'm going to try to trade Doug West and five first round picks for David Robinson. Hopefully they accept that. They do not. Instead of Doug West, what about if I did Bob Cousy instead? I mean, actually, no, I don't want to trade Bob Cousy. I will throw in Tony Parker. Boom. There we go. We pick up David Robinson. All right, we have like 11 guys on this team, so I do want to make a couple more trades. All right, we're going to be getting Paul George and James um, Silas for... Doug West and Damian Lillard and also some first round picks. And then our final trade is going to be Marcus Aldridge and Steve Nash for Willis Reed and DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah, this team is set and it is so, so good. So it's so nice being able to keep this team and I don't have to make any trades at all. I'm so excited about this year. It's championship or bust. All right, so in the final year, I can finally make the rotation the way I want it to look like. All right, so starting five, Gilbert Arenas, James Harden, KD, Love, and Robinson with a bench of Willis Reed, Dwight Howard, Bob Cousy, and Paul George. Under Eric Spolster, Grid and Grind, it's four and a half or four stars, but we will be going to balance, which is four and a half. And yeah, I'm just so excited to do this in a second. Boom, disable CPU trade offers. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And hopefully we are a top five seed or really top three seed in the East. So we end the season as the one seed in the East and the first team in the power rankings here were the awards the Memphis Grizzlies still winning a bunch there but at, oh my god we went 72 and 10 Eric Spolster coach of the year and Pat Riley says Andy Ellisberg would be your executive of the year so did we get anybody oh I miss you Penny I do but do we get anybody on these all NBA teams probably I feel like we should I don't know we did win 72 games and it's James Harden okay and that is pretty much it but uh yeah we are the one seed out of the app yeah, I was like so confused at first seeing a two seed in the top right it is one through 16 so we're taking on the Bucks Rondo a former heat anybody else a former heat uh, Chris Stops and Donaldson. So here were the stats throughout the year. Pretty much what you'd expect. Katie and Harder being the top guys. Gilbert not too far behind. He averaged 10 assists a game. And then everybody else as follows. Wow, everybody scored in double figures. So we should probably... Oh my god, we lost game one. Okay, that was a little scary. We ended up, we ended up winning four and answered. All right. But yeah, we should 100% win it all. Like, there is no reason that these teams should be better than us. Calvin Murphy, uh, Paul Westfall, uh, Alex English, Jerry Lucas, Shaq will be free. Jermaine O'Neal, Kevin Willis, Antoine Walker. Okay, that's a very good team. That is. Either way, though, we win in five. And we can look to get revenge on the team that beat us last year. The Charlotte Hornets, a couple familiar faces in Steve Nash, Clay Thompson, Lamarcus Aldridge, anybody else that was on our team? Uh, no. So can we beat them and go to the NBA Finals? Oh my god, we're down 2-1. to one. No. No. Are you kidding me? They're going to beat us? Don't do this to me. 
All right, all right. We're forcing a game six. It's, look, it's looking like, let's go. Okay, Gilbert drops 26 and 12. On to game six. We need to force a game seven. I almost simulated through the game. I want to do it through some guess. Good first quarter. Not a good second quarter. Not a good third quarter. Okay, we're down by five. Am I, oh my God, we're down by four. Down by three. Down by three. We're hopping in. All right, do we have the ball? Thank God we do. We got Bob Cousy in the game. He's got 15 and eight. Somebody I never use in 2K, so I don't really want to take a shot with him, but he's going right at C. Nash. Yeah, I was definitely getting blocked. Why is David Robinson in at small forward? What is going on? No, no, Fred Brown, don't do this to me. No, 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 we're down by six. Ugh. Harden three time, please, 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 James. Oh my God, this isn't good. Okay, we need to get a stop. It's like a must stop here. If they score, it's over. And we have Willis Reed guarding Steve Nash. What is going on? No, Nash, don't do this to me. Okay, we need to score quickly. Get it up to Harden. Harden, uh, who's rolling? Who's rolling? Who is that? Willis Reed, please get fouled. Okay, he's got fouled. Going to the line, stops the clock. Please, I need to go two for two. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. That's scary, man. That really is. Please go two for two, Willis Reed. Thank God. All right, so we got KD and such back in. No, Steve Nash driving. Okay, I'm here. I'm here with Willis Reed. No, no. Mm, that hurts. All right, I'm what are you going to take a three with KD. It's like my only hope. KD pull up from downtown. Not a perfect release. Oh my God, it goes in and out. And oh, we just have this amazing free throw shooter at the line. We're screwed. All right. Uh, if KD or Harden hit his threes, I mean, they were great looks. And that's not even, oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, yeah. See you guys in the next one. So thank you all for watching today's video. And thank you to Private Internet Access for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out their link in the description below and the pinned comment. You won't regret it.